I'm on the starboard side of this boat. Starboard propeller, shaft, strut, cutlass bearing on the inside. And I'm going to check this cutlass bearing to see if it's good or bad. Mind you, it's going to be a very heavy propeller, very heavy shaft running about 12 feet up into the boat. But I'm going to try to lift this. Watch right here to see if the shaft actually moves up and down. Very heavy, so I'm going to have a little trouble lifting it, but just watch right here to see what happens. So you can see that shaft's got all that play in it. That's actually telling us that the cutlass bearing, the insert cutlass bearing inside of this strut, the cutlass bearing is worn out. So they'll have to remove the set screws on the inside of this strut, put a hydraulic press on here, and press the cutlass out. Of course, you'll have to take the nut off the propeller, take the propeller off of the shaft, take this line cutter off, this is for lobster traps so you can cut the ropes on the floats. Then they'll press the cutlass out. They'll take a new cutlass and press the new cutlass back in and reset it with two set screws over here. Obviously, since we've got off this play and these shafts are turning around 2000 RPM, we will want to remove the shaft, take this whole shaft out of the boat so we can check in this area to see if there's any scarring or wear and tear on the Monel stainless steel shaft to make sure that it's okay. When we do put the new cutlass in, we want to make sure that the shaft is healthy so that we've got a new cutlass on a healthy shaft and we don't have any wear and tear for the future.